38 ticks left on the clock. 67-43 is the margin in favor of Jacksonville. Deep drop for Hicks. Let's this one go. Oh, the corner. intercepted and it's by Tony Goodman with some running room. Goodman in midfield. Goodman in the Jack Columbus territory. Down to the 18-yard line. And what did I say? Whenever they get in that red zone area and you see Goodman in there, he knows how to play well to his, his advantage. And look at that. I think that was a one-handed grab. It there. was. We just talked about the one-handed pick from Brown would have been the catch of the game. And Goodman does the same thing. Oh. What a snag by Tony Goodman. And you can tell while he's running the ball here, he thinks it's a kick up for a turn. Just digging and zagging. Trying to use this block. Wow, what a catch. And the ball came out funny off the arm of the quarterback, Hicks, there. Again, Nick Woodman making the pressure, making it happen. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Short kickoff from Dean, fielded by Goodman right in front of the net. As he is still on his feet across midfield, Tony Goodman cuts back at the 20 and down to the 15. And to the 14-yard line is Tony Goodman, a big return. Dangerous with the ball in his hands, the Jacksonville native Tony Goodman showing why you really want to make sure you've got the distance kicking off against this Jacksonville team. Great job on special teams getting on their blocks, going off, getting, giving Goodman a lane. I mean, great, I mean, gosh, showing his athleticism. I mean, that's as close as you can get to the red zone for, for faithful to definitely put it down in. Page in the corner, well read and picked off by Jacksonville, no flag, the interception will count. Oh. And staying in the end zone, not able to break a tackle there was Tony Goodman. Goodman. Had he broken that tackle, I think he was going 50 yards to Page. I'll tell you what, he knows how to go from one end zone to the other, yeah. so I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he had that opportunity, he would have went all the way. Yeah, to the point where he only has one incompletion all night so far. Short kick, returnable for Jacksonville. Up the right side, breaking a tackle at the five, breaking uh -oh. another one, into the open field, across midfield, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Sharks! Goodman, baby! Tony Goodman, electrifying return! I told you, he is dangerous back there. He definitely wanted that one from last week, even though I got called back, he had one the week before at the last home game, or the home game before, and then obviously, Displaying his talent right now. Oh, that was a thing of beauty. 49-27 Jacksonville. Soleil, I, I apologize. I was off by two seconds <laughs> on my prediction that the Predators would get the ball back with 18 seconds left. There is, in fact, 20 seconds left for them. As Goodman waving goodbye all the way to the goal line. First, the first half is going to be the time for that. But as we get into the second half, certainly want to discuss that as Bear goes there for the it is. He's got oh. this off the post and it stays in play. That ball is loose. Does Jacksonville have it? Is it going to be a touchdown? Oh, that's They're going to talk ball. this one over. It went off the board, but it did not go out of play. Tony Goodman has the ball. The contest. Smith back to throw, finds a receiver this time, and a big hit from the Sharks' Tony Goodman, but does not prevent the completion. Lions on the reception. Short game for Orlando. Seeing Goodman get some action back there at the DB position. Just playing his proudness and his, his ball you know, awareness. Really no room for error for New York as William Dean will send this kick away to open the third quarter. That one's gonna miss wide, and a good return opportunity here for Goodman. Tries the left side, as he drifts toward the wall, and breaks free in midfield. Tony Goodman down the sideline, oh. and he's in. Just talking about it. For a Jacksonville touchdown, Tony Goodman, his second big kickoff return of the night, and this time it's six. Talking about special teams coming into play here, I mean, even if we're not going for, you know, I mean, just the blocking. You can just tell he's finding those lanes, running up the sideline, and then he's just being a playmaker, doing his thing. Decisive running from the jump for Goodman. Got some blocks, got the corner, got past one man, and the kicker, Dean, nice. didn't have a chance. Tony Goodman just stays strong, stays on his line. Nowhere close to the wall. 
And how about that? The Sharks lead now 47-21. And the offense doesn't even have to take the field. He's in at one cornerback. Robert Brown is in there at the other. Haven't heard much from him tonight, but he was the hero last week against Massachusetts in overtime. Here he's again. He tackle from Goodman. Trying to get down on himself a little bit. I'm so impressed that his boys be able to come back from a performance like that and rattle off four phenomenal games. We got a return on here from Jacksonville. Getting across the 15 to the 16 is Tony Goodman. That's where the Sharks will have the ball. Something like that. I don't know if that's a fashion thing or you know if there's a, a design team. I don't know if you have input or don't have input. If you have a choice. Yeah, we've got a design. We have creative liberty. You know, it's just as long as it's professional and it highlights the things that you want to, you know, present you as your They'll defer their choice in the second half. So it'll be the Jacksonville offense on the field. Unless, of course, Tony Goodwin, Goodman brings one back, which we've seen a couple of times this season already. Hosting playoff game, right? And Columbus and New York are both feisty as well. Another opportunity for Tony Goodman as he heads toward the right side. Has a lane. There goes Goodman down the sideline. Gets a block. Goodman the 10, the 5, in and into the end zone is. for a Jacksonville touchdown. Tony Goodman goes the length of the field.